Hey folks, today let's talk a little bit about the hard drive shucking. My guess is most of you who come here already know what the hard drive shucking is. But just in case you don't, maybe you saw the word shucking in my video title and you were like, what the heck is it? And you come into this video just to find out. Uh, I will explain a little bit about what hard drive shucking is and why we're doing this. Um, if you already know it, please feel free to go to the later sections. Okay, so what is hard drive shucking? In a nutshell, it means uh, when you want to buy an internal SATA hard drive, instead of just buying such a drive directly, you actually go ahead and buy a USB external hard drive. Then you tear it down, you, you take off the shell and take the inside drive and use that as your SATA internal hard drive. Why do we want to go through this extra hassle instead of just go and buy the SATA drive directly? The reason is mainly on cost. For some reason, the, the price of the USB external hard drive are usually much cheaper than the SATA internal hard drive of same quality and the same capacity. I don't know exactly why this is happening, but uh, I guess it's a combination of uh, market segment priority and uh, competition. Um, but no matter what, it's usually gonna save you a significant amount of money if you go buy a USB hard drive and shuck it instead of just go after the SATA drive directly. So what's so special about 2.5 inch hard drive shucking? It turns out in the past several years, two of the major external hard drive manufacturers, namely Western Digital and uh, uh, Toshiba, both of them have adopted this new strategy that uh, they no longer put SATA hard drive into their 2.5 inch external hard drives. Instead, they removed the SATA port and integrated a USB port onto that drive itself. So even if you shuck those drives from those two manufacturers, uh, those 2.5 inch hard drives, uh, you, you will only get a hard drive that doesn't have a SATA port on it. So you cannot connect it to your computer through SATA or your NAS through SATA. Um, they are just not very useful. Fortunately, there is still one player in this domain who still produce external hard drives that have 2.5 inch SATA hard drive inside. That is Seagate. And the model of that hard drive is called the Seagate One Touch. This is the 5 terabyte Seagate One Touch I bought yesterday from Costco. It's under promotion and uh, it cost me 90 bucks. What's inside this drive is a 2.5 inch Seagate Paracuda. Um, if you want to buy that SATA drive alone, it's going to cost you $170. So this is a huge discount, almost a half of the price. Totally worth the shucking. For the sake of the completeness of this video, I will also show you how to actually shuck this drive so that you have all information in one place, including um, why you want to do shucking, what brand and what model to purchase, as well as how to actually shuck it. All right, let's hit the bench. The tools you need for this is pretty simple. Basically, you need a tool that has a, a relatively narrow, like sharp tip. You can use a knife too. I happen to have a um, screwdriver that have a very sharp uh, tip. So this tool is to basically uh, push into the slit and uh, sort of push open that slit a little bit. And the second tool needs to be also relatively narrow at the head, but not necessarily as sharp as this one. Um, you, if you have a plastic uh, prior, it's probably even better. This one is all I have, so I will use this. So what this tool will do is once you push it open a little bit of this uh, slit, you can uh, put this in and uh, pry open that uh, cover. Another tool that's not a must, but I would strongly recommend is a uh, protection glass. Um, it's just always good to have to protect your eyes because you are, remember you are prying open this thing and uh, although there's a it's probably unlikely you will chip anything. There's a possibility, right? Like if something chipped and flying out, uh, having this will be great to protect your eyes. All right, let's work on that drive. 
So what I will do first is just push this into the slit. See, it makes it open a little bit. And then I will put the second tool in and try to pry it open. And you can try multiple points. And once this side, you can see this is uh, already opened a little bit. Once this side is open, you can start to work on the adjacent edges too. So this side is open a little more than this side. So let's work back to the first edge and try to open it a little more. And it should be easier now because the other side is opened. All right, I guess we're almost there. See, this is opened like quite a bit now. Let's see if I can just push it backward to actually open it. Here we go. And if you open it like far enough, this tip can actually go off. All right. Now this is the drive. There are some like protection stuff or we can just pull them out. There's a plastic I mean rubber tab here, which can be pulled out too. Let's pull that out. And the next step will be to take this drive out. And uh, I would recommend to go pry it out from this side, because this side has a connector. Uh, we don't want to damage them. So let's go with this side and push, push this screwdriver all the way in and start to pry it out slowly. And here we go. It's out. All right, so there are a bunch of like dumpers, the rubber dumpers, which is pretty good. I think they are trying to make the noise level low, the vibration, like absorb the vibration of the drive. Okay, so this is a connector and we need to open this uh, foil and this it seems to be like sticking on this so i guess there's no way to not not damaging it 
if we want to tear it open so just be a little careful Obviously, use a lot of glue here. Okay, we're almost there. Okay. So you can see there is a connector, the USB connector, right? And it's it's an electric IC board. And you can you can actually pull it out. Just try to be gentle, don't damage it. All right, and here is your SATA port. And if you look at the drive, Barracuda, five terabyte. So that's exactly the drive that you will buy if you go to store and just buy that SATA drive. All right, that's all you need to do to get your internal hard drive. One thing I want to stress about is that shucking a hard drive will void its warranty. So I strongly recommend you to thoroughly test your USB hard drive before you shuck in it. Uh, connect it to your computer using USB and uh, do some file transfer and uh, maybe do some uh, health check of the drive before you shuck in the drive. All right, I think that's all I want to talk about today. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please click that like button below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you next time.